Hi guys. Um, okay, this is a video that I've had to think long and hard about. Um, I wasn't sure of doing it or not uh, because it's something I don't like to talk about. But I think um, I need to do it. I feel like I need to do it. Um, I've mentioned it before on a few of my other videos, I think, where I've said that I see things. Um, I've seen things for quite a long time. Um, the first thing I can think of, which, um, well, the, yeah, the first main thing I can actually think of was um, after I um, had, sorry, my HAL experience back in 2008, um, when I came out of hospital, um, it was almost immediately but I would always see something out like the corner of my eye like flash past doorways things like that always out the corner of my eye and for a long time I kind of thought it was my imagination playing tricks on me oh it's, there's nothing there you know it's ridiculous it's just your mind playing tricks on you um but it went on for like years and years and I'd see it more and more and more often and then one day, um, my actual eldest daughter, who was only very young at the time, about four, I think, um, five maybe at the most, she got really freaked out one night. We was all downstairs and she thought she saw somebody run upstairs. Um, and she was really scared because she assumed it was a burglar. Um, I went to investigate to see if there was anyone there because she was crying saying she saw someone go up the stairs saw something black go up the stairs um and i said don't be silly there's nothing there um but i went and checked and there was nothing there i said no there's nobody here there's, there's nothing here it's nothing and i actually she said i saw it i saw it i saw it and i said what did you see and she she was drawing at the time did with crayons and stuff and i made her draw what she saw and the thing that she drew was the thing exact thing that i had been seeing so that's when I thought, oh my gosh, you know, it's not my imagination, there is something around. Um, anyway, this thing, and I mean, I've lived in a few houses now, um, I've gone from house to house, and this, this, this presence, or whatever you want to call it, followed me around from house to house to house. Um, I would only still see it at the corner of my eye, but you would definitely see it whiz past and stuff like that. Um, and then it got more noticeable. Um, I actually saw it. I mean, I was led down um, just chilling out and I was watching YouTube videos with my headphones in. And I was um, watching TV and next to our TV we have like these double doors with like this really like really weird glass that you can't quite see through completely. It's like corrugated. I don't know what you call it, corrugated or something. Sorry, got a bit of a cold. Now, anyway, it was like, yeah. And I saw this, this um, the black thing like walk past and it was really strange because i i thought it was um i thought it was my husband and um i took my headphones out and said oh hi what are you doing back you know what are you doing <coughs> excuse me i've got a, quite a bit of a cold at the moment but i sort of said what what are you doing and um there was no reply and i was like hello hello are you there and there was no reply i was like well that's strange i saw something and i I thought it was him because the um, it was like a black shadow and um, it's about six foot two um, and it went past and I saw that with both eyes um, and then I riven about I just didn't really think much of it and just carried on watching YouTube videos as you do and about a half an hour later my husband came through the door bags full of white shopping he'd been to um, Walmart shopping and I was like, well, were you just here about half an hour ago? I saw you in the kitchen. And he was like, no, I've been gone for two hours. So that was that. And then, um, and then one day, you know, I used to kept saying to my husband about it. And he said, there's nothing here. He's Romany Gypsy. Um, he's got Romany Gypsy blood in him. So he senses stuff as well. And he was like, oh, there was something around. I'd know it. I'd know it. I goes, yeah, but there is. There's definitely something. I've seen it. So is Ellie when she was younger. Um, she's seen it as well. He goes, well, I ain't seen anything and I'd seen it. And then one day he just acted really weird. And um, I, I, was, I kept going to him, what's wrong? And he said, oh, you don't want to know. I don't want to tell you. And I said, no, tell me. I'm sorry, I keep touching my nose. I'm not picking my nose when you're disgusting like that. It's just that like, I've got a cold and it's kind of like, yeah. Um, anyway, um, 
he was like, he said to me, oh, um, I don't really want to tell you, I don't want to freak you out. I said, no, please tell me. And he said he was basically um, doing, he was having a shave in our bathroom. And when he went to um, rinse himself and then looked in the mirror, it was stood behind him. But as soon as he made eye contact with it, it shut off. This thing like goes so fast, it's like whoosh and it's gone, but you see it. And oh, I said, I told you I wasn't making it up. I told you there's something. And he was like, oh, I think you're panicking over nothing. <coughs> Sorry. It's, he said, it's nothing bad. I didn't feel any fear. Whatever it is, obviously is afraid because it ran off. I was like, I'm not sure. Because straight away, I mean, when I started seeing it straight after I come out of hospital, and when I used to see it, I used to always like, it was always around if ever I felt like at my lowest. Um, really depressed, really down, suicidal, and all that I've talked about talked about before. That I used to get terrible suicidal thoughts, and whenever I was like that, this thing used to be around. Um, but and I, I knew I was like, no, I think it's a demon. I think it's a demon. And he was like, no, it's not a demon. It's not a demon. Um, and then literally, um, I spoke to my nan about it because it was bothering me, and I would see it a lot. I've not seen it for ages now, but I'm so I'm going back a bit, but. Um, I told my nan about it and, uh, she, and I just talked about it, described what it looked like. I said, it's tall, it's black. It looks like it's got some sort of cloaky thing on. It's very, very fast. And she said, oh, that's nothing to worry about. That's my dad. That's your great granddad. And I was like, well, makes you think that. And she just said, I just know it is because that's what he, he wore. Like she said, he always wore black and he, and he wore like a thing on his head and he used to ride a bicycle. So when he rode his bicycle for when it rained, he would have this like this cape thing on it would go over the handlebars so we kept him dry so she was like that and th b this was before I had become um, really serious in my faith this is before I refound my faith and before I started reading the bible properly so she said oh do you want to come with me to this thing we've got um a guy coming over he's a medium and um she said you can ask him about it and I went along, um, there was 13 of us there all together and this guy was there, he was quite a big guy. Um, and it was really weird because I kind of sense things that's going to happen before they happen. It's strange, it's weird stuff like if I'm in the car and there'll be a song playing on the radio or I'll have another song in my head and lo and behold, straight after that song finishes on the radio, the song that's in my head plays. Um, there was another time when I sat down, we was watching England um, in the World Cup and I actually predicted the score before the, it before it even started and that was the score and I got it completely right. And when I was sat around at this thing with this medium guy, I sat there thinking, oh, I bet I'm the last person. I bet, I bet he don't speak to me till last. Yep, that's what happened. I was the last person to be spoken to. And he said to me, oh, there's nobody here for you. You've, um, and I was like, oh, because everyone else had all these family members coming forward. So I was a bit disappointed because I was hoping my granddad would come through, as in my grand, not my great granddad, what my nan's all about, my granddad that passed away in 2013, that's her husband, but he didn't. And the guy said to me, he goes, oh, you've got some spiritual fence around you and it's been built around you to protect you. And I started to ask him about this shadow thing that I'd been seeing. And he turned around and said, oh, your nan knows who that is. It's your great grandfather. So I was sure that's who it was. And I felt really comfortable. Then when I refound my faith and everything like that, I started to read the Bible and I started to read about things like witchcraft, mediums and stuff and everything like that. And I knew that it wasn't good. Um, and I used to really think it was weird because I would always go on about ghosts and spirits and stuff. I was fascinated. I was really interested ever since I've been a kid, really fascinated by all the paranormal things. And, and I would ask people because I know Christian people and I'd ask them about it and they would get really funny. And I'm like, why are they getting funny? I don't understand it because Christian people are quite spiritual, but they would just get really funny and not want to talk about it. So in the end, I decided to Google it. And um, when I when I Googled it, I think I typed in something like a Christian's views on ghosts and spirits, and I read it and I was just horrified, and it was explaining what mediums are and what it is, their spirit guide that they have, what that actually is talking to them. And I didn't know at the time. I really thought that spirits were dead people. But it was saying in this thing that, that when we die, we go to heaven, we go to hell, we can't roam around the earth in spirit film, film. And the only things that can are demons and angels. And um, that's when I knew then that that was a demon, definitely, that I was seeing. That black thing was a demon and that made a lot of sense because it did used to make me feel very afraid and very scared. My husband's seen it about three times now. It actually, he saw it a couple of months back and it was when it was really hot and sunny and all the light was shining on our landing. 
upstairs and he saw it stood at the top of the stairs and it's so black and he said it blacked out all the sun it, it just went really dark and it eerie he went running after it and it just ran <laughs> don't know why he ran after it but he did i said what do you want to run it's not you're not going to be able to do anything um I, i've seen some other things as well we did have these two children and i i've been seeing them for quite a while i didn't say anything uh and they were in victorian clothing little boy about four girl about ten a uh, little boy had like white shirt on he had a black waistcoat black sort of like trousers or pants as you guys call them in America you know that come to a knee length quite baggy long socks and he had like a cap a bit like the one in Oliver, Oliver Twist wears and Oliver Twist and the girl had like a black sort of long sleeve top on and like a white kind of smock kind of dress thing that went really long and she had like a white floppy hat and she had blonde curly hair and I would see him all the time and I thought I'm not going to say anything and then one night my husband sort of looked in the direction where I saw used to see them where I would see where I would see them and I was like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? He's like, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I said, come on, tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. And he described the two things. And I said, oh, my word, I've been seeing them for a while. But, um, you know, um, I know what them things are now. I mean, they, they wouldn't scare you or wouldn't scare me at all. Um, and I saw something more recently as well, which I think was actually an angel because... Um, it was and it was right in front of me as well i went to switch on it was really dark we was watching a film on tv and we had all the lights up just a tv show and i went to get up to go and switch the light on and right in front of me about it was about that kind of big it wasn't very big and it was white and it appeared right in front of me and it walked past me like that and i was kind of i couldn't believe it i was like i can't believe it. i'm seeing that with both eyes walked past me and it vanished but i didn't feel no fear it was at all i was just so shocked to see it with both eyes and it was there but, you know, reading that thing now, what I've read, I really do think that was an angel because I didn't feel no fear. The children did start to scare me in the end because I started seeing more and more and more. And you'd always see, like, movement. It was like a weird, I can't explain, movement. They'd poke their heads around the door and then move it away, poke their heads there. All, all the time, see them all the time. You'd, you'd see shadows come into the lounge, all sorts. Um, but now I'm reading the Bible. Now I know what these things are. And you know that, that it's not people that are passed over, that it's either a demon or demons or it is an angel. And to know that demons as well, um, I mean, they they can um, show themselves of, as angels of light. They can show themselves as angelic beings. Um, but a lot of videos that I've watched about demons, a lot of people have described them as these dark shadow things, um, which is what I've seen. Others go into more detail and say, <laughs> monstrous things of horns and they smell and stuff like that there was no smell you used to get really cold my hairs would stand on end you to all really cold whenever the children around whenever the black thing is around but ever since i've gone around praying um and i pray every night for edge of protection over my whole house i've not seen any of them the two children oh they had a pet with them as well i don't know what it was it was either a little kitten or a dog or a little dog or a puppy and it was black and i used to always think it was one of my cats but now i'd look over and all my cats would be together up on the um couch together so i was like well that's weird but i've not seen any of them for absolutely ages now so this is going back you know i pray all the time now i read the bible um and um they're not around no more and i know they're not around anymore i just always feel like i have this feeling i was being watched all the time horrible feeling i just always have to leave the um downstairs hallway light on i would have to leave the i just was terrified um but they're not around anymore and I'm, I'm okay. I can even go up the stairs with the light off to go into the bathroom. It doesn't bother me because I know nothing's there. I know that, that God's removed them. Um, and, um, you know, obviously I did the whole um, repentance prayer you know the um salvation prayer or the sinner's prayer i've done all that i've done that a few times now and um so i've been forgiven for going to that medium i didn't know mediums were bad at all i didn't i didn't i didn't think anything of it but now i know that they are and that they are actually their spirit guides are demons talking to them and that's how they know so much about all these different people but anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. That's what I've seen. I know this is not a great video and it's a bit rushed. I'm not feeling very well at the moment. I've got a really bad cold and a bad chest. But I just wanted to talk about it. I'm going to pray after I've done this video just to make sure this is not um, this is not opened any doors or anything talking about them. But um, yeah. So I will leave it there and I will do another video soon when I get round to it. Um, but I just want to do this... Um, 
And just to say to you guys, you know that, you know, I have seen things as well. Those people that think these things aren't real, they are real. Okay, then God bless everyone. Take care. Bye bye.